What's up YouTube? This is Mike Bushio with Armor Rock, the Polymer Guy. Hey, just wanted to give you a quick introduction and synopsis on what we're doing with all our Armor Rock polymer concrete. There's a lot of exciting things and we're so thrilled to be able to tell the story of what we're doing to bring sustainability to the wastewater and corrosive environments and the markets that you're serving right now as an engineer. Could be working at a city. Um, maybe you just want to learn more about innovative sewer technology. Uh, I don't know. I'm just grateful you're watching today. So Armor Rock, what we have is a polymer concrete structure, okay? So in lieu of using cement as our binder or our glue, we are utilizing polyester resin as our binder. And we're also using sand and aggregate like you see in a traditional concrete. But it's really important that that sand and aggregate is also going to hold up to the acidic environments or basic environments, any corrosive environment that you are faced with um, in your designs. So where did we get this idea? Are we mad scientists? We're not, you know, we're crazy, right? Everybody is a little bit crazy that does something like this. But what our background is, is concrete precasters. And we slothed through, you know, from 1950 on, um, looking at making concrete. We did make concrete. We still make concrete. That's part of uh, our background. But uh, what happened was is we as concrete precasters readily recognized and accepted that concrete corrodes in a wastewater environment and uh, it wasn't the right solution long term for those uh, designs. And so when looking at that we said hey let's figure out what we have on the market that we could do as a sustainable option that will live up to the design lives that consulting engineers are being asked to live up to by the owners and agencies that they design for. So for example, you know, basically the lowest base standard nowadays is when an engineer puts in a sewer project, it's, hey, design this so it'll last for 50 years, and then they just go ahead and do that. Well, it's kind of crazy because we know that concrete does not last for 50 years in a wastewater environment. You're going to be looking at a rehabilitation project or a full replacement um, quite quickly uh, in those systems. And so even if somebody does a coating or a liner, that's just a temporary solution. We know that you're going to go back in there and have to redo that somewhere along the line. So we're talking about dollars being spent again and again on a system when uh, you have technologies out there where you don't have to do that. Now there are a lot of different pipe types that are sustainable in the wastewater uh, arena, so to speak. You have um, all different types of plastic pipes, you have clay pipes, you have fiberglass pipes. There's all sorts of pipes that are really good that are corrosion proof, but we are going to a vertical access structure that is corrodible. Cement corrodes, concrete corrodes, bottom line. So what we have at Armor Rock is the last puzzle piece for corrosion and that we're fighting against that. So Armor Rock Polymer Concrete, it puts together just like a traditional concrete manhole. It's modular construction that you're used to. So we're talking precast bases, risers, cones, flat lids. We do wet wells, lift stations, pump stations, custom structures. Could be a junction box with multiple lines coming into it. And we also do structural inserts. So we do an insert system where you get a brand new structure with no bypass and no shoring. We've created all these product lines and a market for polymer concrete because we believe we have something that's going to help people out long term. Uh, it brings me a lot of pride to be able to sell something every day where I'm not having to BS with you. The data speaks for itself. The data says that polymer concrete is a corrosion proof structure. So we here at Armor Rock are very aggressive in the way we market that and very proud of our solutions. And we're so... Uh, excited to tell you about it and give you more data. So please reach out to your local representative. Uh, visit our website, armorock.com, and we'd be happy to help you out to a sustainable future because we are so excited to be able to bring that to you. Thank you. Uh -huh.